Zoids lore time. So here's a fun topic. If Zoids are living creatures, how do they reproduce? In even weirder ways than we do, let me tell you. So let's get started. So Zoid cores start out in the sea, in the very uh, high metallic oceans of planet Z. They start out as Zoid cores, but they will develop pits as they start to grow and absorb the, high, the heavy metals around them. Uh, limbs and different uh, parts of body parts will start to sprout from those holes, the number of pits uh, depending on the species of Zoid. As it will start to grow, it will eventually be strong enough to leave the sea and grow limbs and a body of its own to protect its Zoid core. And as it is a full-grown adult, it can produce more Zoid cores inside its body. And as it dies, it uh, splits off those Zoid cores, so basically it's a form of budding. Which does imply that Zoids aren't really giant metal animals so much as giant metal space fungus. Kinda weird. Here we have another depiction of Zoids, uh, the life cycle of a Zoid. You see, the, the seas on, Zoid, on Z are very rich with heavy metals and stuff like that, so the Zoid cores absorb these heavy metals as pits start to form and limbs start to grow from those pits. And then it will uh, absorb more and more metal until it's strong enough to form a metallic body to leave the sea and eat food on its own. And then it will uh, grow and grow and uh, develop more cores and then repeat the cycle over and over again. Now, once Zoids, as mentioned here in the top left, uh, once they are converted into combat Zoids, once their core is removed and placed in a metallic body, they do lose the ability to reproduce. So you won't get more cores out of one uh, military type Zoid. Like a Liger Zero, you won't get another one out of it. And as we see from this depiction here, it seems like Zoids uh, in the very distant past were possibly more akin to more like animals, but as they evolve more and more, they develop their Zoid core or they condense most of their organs into this ball for uh, protection, reproduction purposes. It just seems to work for them. Look, this was the 80s. It was sci-fi. I'm sure it made sense to somebody. <laughs> so to cover, how do Zoids reproduce? In a nutshell, 